Hey everyone, welcome back to Persia at War with the Ottomans. Part 3 maybe? I don't know. This is, uh, I've said that a couple times, but I think this is actually an important war. Um, well, it's definitely important, but one of the, 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 the war. This is the war. Uh, okay, so. Uh, okay. Can you, like, stop? I wonder what he's doing now. I mean, if rebels siege it, he actually can re-siege that. He's sieging it. He's unsieging his rebel things, which is annoying. So let's kill this army, I guess. This army is fast. I know that. Uh, yeah, these rebels just gave him an opportunity that he should not have had. Yeah, it's a pity. But well, we're hopefully gonna squish this whatever army. Oh, balls! He's going to Halep. But we squished it. He's gonna f go fast, fast, mar forced march. He's forced marching in here. And he's now forced marching back out. Okay. I don't think he's gonna go all the way down. To be honest. Okay, we need to... Uh, okay, he has, eight, he has all his men over here. Now. Um, we kind of have to assemble them here as well. Just to see what happens. He wants to siege this. I can understand. Uh, yep, request military guidance. Oh, we still can't get this technology. I need that technology. Oh, sh shut the fuck up. Spain is actually coming to help. 6th of June. 8th of June. Okay, he's coming. Shit, we're not gonna do this. 80,000 men. I have 60,000. Uh, 20,000 coming. But, uh... Who has this guy? Is he the guy? He is. Uh, shit. <sighs> if only I would get a good general. No, they're shit. But it's better than nothing, so yeah. Take it. Um, Ajuran? Oh, you didn't. What happened? What happened to Ajuran? Did he win? Can't believe that. Um, but yeah, so we've been attacked here. We have the advantage right now until this guy arrives. And we have depleted his morale quite a bit, but once this guy hits, he's gonna hit hard. Yeah. Uh, Spain is gonna help out a little bit? Not too much. Francesco G. Cevellini. Uh, well, actually, does have a lot of discipline. It's not, it's not enough. Shit. We're gonna lose this. Uh, fucking Poland, why are you not in this war? Yeah, he has too many men. Three, six generals. I can't cope with this. Why do they have these... Ginormously strong generals. Yeah, he's this shock phase is just liberating me. All right, fuck, 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 fuck. But we can uh, destroy this army maybe. Okay, so Kara currently has no army and he's never gonna get one, I guess. So that's good. He, he even what? He still has that army over there. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, yeah. I would like peace. He's willing to give me my course, I bet. Um, yep. Yeah. He will even give me that. He will give me that. He will even give me Coachelli. But not Constantinople. Alright, how about... I wonder... No, I don't have any forts here, do I? If I could get this, that would be great. Maybe if I if I don't get that one. Oh, so I could cut his, his country in half. I would like that. Uh, okay. He would accept this. How about instead... No. 
This is the way. Okay, so this is cutting him in half. War operations he wouldn't accept. Got a little bit of cash. Two. 170. So this is what he would accept. Well, I don't think he's gonna unsiege anything right now. So I doubt we're gonna lose any war score in the next month. We can probably only get better. Okay, we got one more war score. Uh, he is low. He will give me this, which will basically cut his country in half. I would like that. Um, this is highlands, drylands, drylands, hills. I mean, with this, I could have like four armies, and then I could have like mercenaries. Basically, I just have four armies protecting if I can get there and then I just have mercenaries sieging this. I don't know if that's like very possible but I, I could think that this goes. So give me some more cash. 260. 260 gold. Um, do I want this? I mean I guess I don't have to rush this now. He might even give me more. Even if it's just cash. Hama and some other province. Go away from this guy. Okay, now he's unseaging provinces very quickly. Okay, I, got, I have to get I have to get out of this. Good. All right, I guess five provinces is just the best I can do. Yep, let's do it. And um, I will not give him access, so hopefully he's now losing his war to Austria. That would be funny. That would be so freaking funny. I don't know if it, I don't know if that works. But if it would, it would be great. That would be so awesome, actually. He, uh, I mean, he doesn't have access through my lands, does he? He would ally. We would ally me. Okay. Uh, I would like that alliance. Maybe he would even call me in right now. Okay, so give this a thing and luckily uh, all of these separatists went away. Good. It's easy. Or maybe I should uh, reduce that to save some points. That's too late already. Anyway, that was worth it. Well, of course, right afterwards, rebels. Rubble. Rubbles. You guys go here. Let's see what we can do. It's only twelve thousand. And now we now we I, if I if I had gotten the attack, I should have gotten the attack. Shouldn't have done the other thing because we're gonna get this aspiration for liberty, which is terrible. Okay now how is he gonna go? How is he how is he gonna walk around? Oh we've got an achievement, total control. Um what is that? Um, what is what is the uh, achievement? How do I get the steam overlay? Ah, oh, I don't know. Uh, well, anyway, total. I think that's like having one thousand, no, a hundred provinces. Hmm. Well, it's some achievement. Yeah, it seems like he's trapped. He is trapped, truly. But yeah, I know he has his fleet over here. He's bringing his guys over. It's not a big trap. It's still funny. He's like, oh my god, I can't walk. Poor guy. No, no, he's, he's, he's mean. He was always mean to me. Okay, let's see what we can do. And he has, yeah, he has, oh man, he has some massive amounts of troops. I really hope that this calls him. Uh, land maintenance. Ooh, 10 years. Regimental pride. Take it. Okay, put them together. Get these guys out. Let's kill them. 40,000. Get rid of mercenaries. 
Alright, Ottomans. You s have 130,000 men, but no manpower. Yeah, but I was I was not not a possible uh, no possibility to fight you. Naples has all of this. Good for them. And uh, you're stuck with your men over here. But he's gonna annex him anyway. And he, yeah, this guy is just terrible. Why am I even allied to this guy? Now, I wonder if he's gonna call me in. The problem is, I don't want him to be able to walk through my lands, which he will be if uh, Austria is able to. We have a missionary there, that's why he's risen up. Come on. Kill him. Go for it. Yeah, squish that. Fira. Good. So, we'll have to line up here. But we need to have, we really need to be at full strength. So that means no freaking around with anything. Which I, I doubt it's going to happen. We have looting disaster. However, Ottomans are at war still. They're, I mean, even, even if they're not going to be losing this, it's, it's still going to, you know, make them... I mean, that negative 20. I don't know when they will peace out. But they have 70, 73,000 men just standing here taking attrition. Um, which is kind of funny, actually. Uh, I need that technology. I like that he's just standing there. But he must be taking attrition for that. I get it. Yeah, having them split up doesn't help if you're walking the same path. You stay there. You <laughs> go over here. What are the provinces that are Tabriz and Al Jauf? So you go to Al Jauf, which is this one. Okay, and then I have Austria on my side next time. He's probably gonna help me. But like, he's actually gonna be in the war with me. Not just like, random... Random stranger. So yeah, he's taking a uh, slowly taking attrition. Well, that's good. And he's, yeah, he's really been sieged. But he, I think he's fighting back. I think that was connected before. So yeah, he's fighting back. Or maybe they just left. It could, it could be possible as well. Who knows? Anyway, uh, I think that was worth it. I mean, still, it's not. <laughs> there's not really. You can't really just pump out the Ottomans. It, it, they're still too powerful. They've they've been without without balance the entire time. It's like France. They're so powerful, you can't in, you can't just kill them in one war. And now they've annexed Karakonlu. I knew that was going to happen. But still, the country is cut in half. I don't know if that's really gonna do anything, but probably not. But it looks cool. I, I like the feel of it. That he can't walk back and forth. Uh, and he lost two provinces. Okay, well, that was bad. So you're no longer at war. But he has rebels. Particularists. So, ally Austria. Oh, he doesn't want to ally me anymore. Interesting. He's now allied to France. Should have taken the alliance. Well, I guess first I want to get, take this here. Woo! So as long as Lithuania doesn't declare war on me, I should be should be good from now on. Poland, you really uh, I don't know. You uh, you didn't really help at all. So Austrian provinces. Wow, we're making a lot of dough. Okay, what I think I will do... Should I build forts here? <laughs> Four forts? That would be funny, actually. It would be terrible for him to siege. I don't know if I want that, though. And then I could just fight him all the time. He would He would lose a lot of... He would get a lot of attrition. Hmm. I might do that. But yeah, he's now at, at peace as, as well. Uh, how long is the truce going to last? It's eight years. 
Yeah, well, the thing is, he doesn't have to rebuild armies. So basically, it's just his manpower that has to rebuild. For me, I have to build troops. And that is the problem. That's a difference, too. And I have this looming disaster. I don't know if he does that as well. Aspiration for liberty. I think everyone does. But he's not a... No, he's not an absolute monarchy. He's also an empire. He's despotic monarchy. He's a better king leader. Uh, we have more leaders than we, we should. We need to fire some of them. I guess, well, he's good at sieging. This is seven points, this is eight points. This is only five, but it's two siege. I think a siege specialist is always good. Let's get rid of this guy. He's kind of worthless. I mean, he has the actual most fighting points, but still. More conversions. Next one up is uh, Muscat. Thanks. Yeah, well, I guess now I don't need the technology. Maybe next time I can actually declare war on him while I have technology, te technological advantage. Poland declared war on Scandinavia. You think that's smart? I don't think it's smart. Who's gonna help you, France? Uh, yeah, France. Okay, that's uh, that's good enough. <laughs> that's good enough, I guess. Yeah, he doesn't want his alliance anymore. That's too bad. Because uh, Austria could have helped a lot. Naples took two provinces. Uh, I took more, though. I'm more badass. So we're having... Coring this. So, might as well core this. Baby... We need to attack. Kafa, you really, uh... You didn't even lose anything. I wonder who would join. Spain wouldn't. Kafa, you suck. Like, why are you even my ally? I mean, yeah, that's a distant war. He would destabilize. Yeah, I guess. And Poland... Uh... There's, a, there's people I don't really like. Poland, Kafa, you use his allies. Um, siege ability or... Fort defense. I like fort defense. Ten years. Thank you. It just gives me more time to actually get somewhere and un siege stuff. Once rebels take it. 36%. Yeah, it's gonna come at some point. I can't I can't do anything against it. When it hits, it's gonna be bad. I don't know what we need in order to stop it, but probably a lot of stability. Yeah, so I didn't get all of the claims. I didn't even get all of my cores, but I got one at least. Tunis, what's what's up with you? What's the matter with you? If he helps me against Ottomans, he could take care of this. Actually, that would be great. If uh, Tunis would take care of this, that would be really nice. Maybe if I can, yeah, if I can ally Tunis, that would be awesome. I doubt though. Uh, oh, actually, it's close. Yes, Tunis would be good. Tunis would be really good. Because then Tunis could help me in the south. Well, I'll just hold this line. I just have to hold this line. Hold them off in my own territory, which is possible. I mean, that's... I think that's pretty much possible, yeah. That's that's the goal. Get Tunis. Get one mercenary stack, which is sieges like... Well, this is probably the closer we can get. Um, and then... And then we go from there, basically. Yeah. That's the goal. How many points do we need for this? Uh, total cost 112, okay. Admin efficiency. We're gonna have some rebels soon. Oh, Trebizondian separatists, yep. What are gonna uprise, anyway? Manrega. What is that? Uh, I know it's somewhere over here. Oh, this one, right. Who else is gonna uprise? Rise up. Why do you keep saying uprise? 
Yemeni. So I need one army down there, which I, I do. Okay. Well, anyway, that was the end of this episode today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, now, I think what I will do, since basically what I'm doing now is I'm going to fight the Ottomans. At some point, I'm probably going to fight Kaffa. But I'm going to fight the Ottomans for now. And for quite some time, actually. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go off camera and just keep going until something actually happens. Or until uh, there's an opportunity. And so you don't have to see that because there's nothing going on. But yeah, until then, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.